guys welcome back to my channel um today i just want to share uh, my another lv collection that i have uh, is the speedy 25b in damia urbin yeah okay um actually this is the second time that i actually filmed this video the previous one i couldn't upload on youtube because um I don't know, I have enough memory in my iPhone, so and I have to redo the video all over again <laughs> and then uh, hopefully this time it works. Okay, let's get to the review. So uh, this bag, actually I got it in 2014. Uh, it's actually to replace my uh, Speedy 30, uh, the normal one without the stripes uh, in the Damien Erzo one, which is the white checks. Uh, I sold that away because um, I was afraid to use it due to the vachetta and because it's white so um, I find very insecure where every time I wear it due to our humidity in this country that I live in so I have to sew the bag and I end up purchasing this um, because due to the color uh, it's quite hard wearing and, and it's quite versatile and also um, even if it if it's wet, you know, um, you will not have much issue. You just wipe it off with a uh, tissue paper or a, a cloth, and then you are good to go. There's no worry about uh, getting stain on your vachetta. So uh, it's a very useful bag because uh, the difference that I feel that, it, of course, is the additional stripes that comes with it. But um. Because of the additional stripes, you actually have to pay a little bit more for it. Um, but then you have multifunctional use for it. So um, I will insert some clips, some modeling shots for you. Um, there's a few ways that you can wear the bag. First is to use the short stripe. And then you can carry on the shoulder. I'm 5'2", not very tall. So uh, I like to carry... Uh, the back this way when I that is close to my body so that I felt safe. So second second way of carrying it is of course is using the longer strap and join them together and you have the cross body option. That one will be like more of a casual look and uh, um, but I find that after a while you tend to find that uh, it will tend to dig onto your shoulder because Okay, I'm not sure can y'all see, but this leather, even though I have, even this bag I have for quite a few years now, but uh, it's still quite stiff. It's not very soft, so it's quite hard. So um, so when it's when when you actually wear it on your shoulder, it it doesn't sit or mold to your shoulder. So it it takes a while to break in. So um. After you carry for a while, I do feel uh, the tension there. So I try not to stuff this back fully. Yeah, so um, this, this is the only thing that I felt that is negative about the bag. But overall, I really enjoy it. And plus the fact is, in the interior, you can see it's red color. Yeah, it's very pretty. So I'm not sure what is the pricing now. I think um, LV has every year has been increasing their price and it has been a while since I visit their boutique. Uh yeah. So so this is a rough uh, a rough review of the collection, back collection I have. I have a never full as well in <laughs> the same print. As you can see the I I have uh, a lot of bags that's in on the LV that is carry uh, me in this in this canvas print. This is my favorite print so far and most carefree uh canvas or purchase or for a luxury item that I feel uh worth the money. <laughs> yeah. Um besides that, actually um I also did a review for my Elma uh, BB. Um, I will link it down below for those that are interested to watch. You all can actually watch the video. 
uh, that's a mini review as well and uh, um, if you are interested to see my Neverfull in Damien Urbin maybe you all can leave a message down the description box and then I'll find time to make a video for you guys so so just just like to talk a little bit about this bag it's, it's just a big hole as all speedy owners know it's really a big hole yeah so despite the size I find it's just nice for my height hmm. so you can see it doesn't really have much stain or damage to the bag yeah I kind of like it but okay um something I spot is this not sure can you all see I will try to insert a close up at the side of this screen here. Okay, the thing is there's this um wear and tear. I think due to the rubbing of the chain. Because as you carry you rub it frequently. But due to that the the paint has wear off. And actually I notice it um, only a few times like maybe two three times later you start see it the uh, the coating start coming off this is the thing the negative thing i'm not sure is it supposed to rub off because i think it's not of course i know it's not gold plated but um, i'm not sure why but i did see another youtuber coco rabbit uh she actually did a review of this bag too and she did mention the difference in the color metal that's here because one is a lighter gold one is darker gold it's a mismatch leather and also um, the rubbing off i'm not sure whether she did she mention it yeah so i also want to give a shout out to some of my favorite youtubers uh which is uh pokon day uh and uh elvis lover cc so i know they might not be watching my video but i thank uh uh cat l k a t l k a t l cat l for giving me a thumbs up thank you cat l for helping me so uh so i just want to thank so much for you for watching so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you again bye